Hey guys, Brandon Lee with Virtualization How To. Hope you guys' week has started off fantastic. And hopefully you're keeping up with this 100 Days of Home Lab Challenge. Shout out to Techno Tim for this awesome challenge for the community. In my last video, which you can see a link to here, we talked about building a Kubernetes home lab environment from scratch. And one of the points that I brought out in that video is leveraging virtual machine snapshots for your lab environment. Well, in my home lab, I'm using VMware vSphere, which has awesome integration from PowerShell, specifically Power CLI. And what that allows me to do is I can programmatically create virtual machine snapshots in lockstep. So if I have three VMs, five VMs, 10 VMs or more, I can run a Power CLI script that takes a virtual machine snapshot of all of those VMs in lockstep. I can then programmatically roll back that set of virtual machines to that pristine state. So how do we do this? Well, as you see, I'm logged into VMware vSphere. I have a virtual machine folder called test VMs that has three virtual machines, test VM one, two, and three. I now have Visual Studio Code pulled up connected to the vCenter server that you saw in the previous browser session. As you can see, the first part of the script or the commandlet one-liner is basically getting the VM or getting all VMs that are in the location test VM. So if I want to just simply highlight that part of the script, then I can effectively enumerate all of the virtual machines that are in that specific location, the test VMs location. And as you can see, I correctly have test VM one, two, and three. We can now pipe that result into new snapshot commandlet. And we can tell Power CLI that we want to take that group of virtual machines and create a snapshot called, and you can name this anything you want, testing bulk snapshots is what I have here. So let's run this uh, first one-liner uh, to see what happens. So we highlight it and now what we see is VMware vSphere is being told to create a new snapshot on all three of those virtual machines. We've got a create snapshot task that has executed on test VM one, two, and three. And if we look at any of these virtual machines, we can go to snapshots, manage snapshots. And as we can see, we've got the testing bulk snapshots snapshot created. Awesome. So now we have that pristine state that now we can on all three of these virtual machines, we can do anything we want. We can install software, we can change the config. And if we say, okay, I wanna go back to this state, we can do that programmatically. Once again, we go back to Power CLI. We've got another uh, Power CLI commandlet, a one-liner. Uh, the first part is the same. We're getting the virtual machines in that specific folder. And we're now saying we want to set VM snapshot and we feed in the name of the snapshot that we created in the first commandlet. So now let's do this. Let's roll back to that bulk snapshot snapshot that we have on those three VMs. So let's highlight this specific commandlet, uh, one liner, highlight it, and we're going to execute it. And as you can see, the revert snapshot process is now kicked off and executed on all three virtual machines. If we go back to the vCenter session, we see the revert snapshot uh, task has executed on test VM one, two and three. I hope you've enjoyed this home lab quick tip. Virtual machine snapshots leveraged in the right way, especially in bulk in the home lab can be a fantastic learning tool to roll your environment back to that pristine state where you can retrace your steps, try the same steps over or alter your steps to make learning easier, more fun and consistent so you get consistent results. Well, I'm Brandon Lee. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please do like uh, the video and subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys soon.